This protocol provides a powerful alternative for screening nucleus activity as biomarker of disease, with an easy-to-implement methodology, even for researchers who are not specialized in nucleic acid probes. The main advantage of this technique is the ability to select nucleic acid probes that can identify both known and unknown nucleus activities, taking advantage of the probe-nucleus dynamic interaction. Other advantages of this methodology are its flexibility, high reproducibility, and ease of use. The demonstration will be performed by Khadija, a master student, and Baris, a postdoc from our laboratory. When designing an oligonucleotide library, include at least one DNA and one RNA random sequence containing a combination of adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine or uracil. To prepare the oligonucleotide probes, spin down the lyophilized oligonucleotide probes and dilute each probe in TRIS EDTA buffer at a 500 picomolar per microliter concentration to prevent nuclease degradation. For bacterial culture on solid medium, roll a single porous glass bead from cryogenic storage directly onto one culture dish containing TSA supplemented with defibrinated sheep blood to streak out individual bacterial colonies. Then place the plate at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. For bacterial culture in liquid medium, transfer a single colony from a solid medium culture to 50 milliliters of TSB for incubation at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours at 200 rotations per minute. The next day, dilute the culture at a 1 to 500 ratio in fresh TSB and incubate the bacteria for an additional...